Hey everybody, it's Cap Smack, and I'm here to destroy this game. Let's see how many people pile on to hate me today. Yesterday it was so much fun. I had so many people on my stream. I normally don't have that many people, but there were just so many people hating me. That's what makes streaming so much fun. You never can tell who's going to show up to shit on your stream. Wow. We are slowly rendering. Awesome. Well, it's a good thing that you can collect resources in the game without having to spend money, because that's literally what they want you doing. When you're a new player in this game and you don't have any money, they're going to give you 150k per day. And you can see I'm up to two and a, two and a quarter million, because I haven't been playing for like a month. They're going to give you Qantas. 150k per day. And then you can try to find some of these mining units. And if you can find them for cheap, that's great. And if you can't, well, fuck you. But this is literally the only activity you're going to be able to do when you're first in the game and you're new and you don't know what, what, the, what the universe is all about. This is it. Mining resources. And the game wants you to sell that stuff on the market, and they'll give you Qantas. And then they want you to buy ships from people, I guess, so the rich can get richer and the poor stay poor. Well, let's say you wanted to be an industrialist. Um, sorry, dude. Game's not going to help you. Let's say you wanted to get rich by building things and selling them on the market. Again, the game doesn't want you doing that. The game wants you mining resources and selling the resources on the market. In a couple days, I'm going to have to collect up all this stuff and put it somewhere because I'm going to hoard my resources like a madman because there's no economy. And there's no real way in this game that you could ever feel like you got any more than that 150k per day, plus whatever they're going to give you for selling your resources. But that's the brick wall. Now, are there people building ships you might want to buy in the game? I don't know, man. But if you wanted to build your own ship, good luck with that. Are you going to know the physics engine well enough to be able to do that? Not in the beginning. Is it going to be expensive to build a ship you might be able to fly to another planet? Yeah. Can you do that? Sure. You understand how to do that? No. Is the game going to help you do that? Fuck no. Do you think that's fun? I don't know, man. See, I'm not sure this is an actual game. You might play it if you wanted to have fun. Well, let's compare and contrast this game with No Man's Sky, because they both use voxels. Dual Universe wants to use voxels for everything. And No Man's Sky uses voxels for planets. You don't build using voxels in No Man's Sky, which means there are ships in the game that you can, you can buy using in-game money. It's really super easy to get in-game money because... The game developers in No Man's Sky built an offline game. 
you can do anything you want in the game, and they're not going to know. Which means if you want to duplicate items in No Man's Sky to make money and have fun, you can do that because the game is super buggy. Or it's just chock full of features that will help you get rich. So if you want as much money as you can possibly have in-game money in that game, they're called units, you can do that. 4.2 million. Easy to get. And you can have the best ship in the game if you want, because it's easy to get ships and you can trade them and blah, blah, blah. Or is it easy to get ships in this game? I don't know. You'd have to have a pretty intimate understanding of the physics engine to build a ship if you wanted it to, if you want to use it to haul things between planets. I don't know, like ore. Who knows? If you want to take your ore to the market, which is on Alioth in this game, you have to be able to haul it. And if you have too much, hauling it's going to be difficult. You might crash. You could even lose all the ore you're trying to haul if you don't know what you're doing. Unfortunately, in this game, I learned how to do all of that. I had a mega factory, and it's sitting over there. As soon as I get done checking all my mining equipment, we can look at it from afar because it's shut down and it's never going to be started up again. Because the amount of time it would take to keep it running is prohibitive. Because the game developers don't want you to be a huge industrialist. They want you to be a super tiny industrialist, if you're industrialist at all. So why you can build factories is beyond me, man. I have no idea. It's like they wanted you to build a factory once upon a time, and now they've changed their minds. Like, if you don't want people to build huge factories, don't let them build factory items on anything larger than a super tiny core. That will solve the problem. If you can't build on a large core, and you can't, if you can't build a factory on a large, just take large cores out. They don't belong in the game anymore. Just remove them. You're not going to get to use them. Because once upon a time, you could actually build a mega factory. Now, it's an online game, so the more things you add, the longer it takes the game to figure out what you built. Because it's online. That's the problem with online games. Now, in No Man's Sky, you can build whatever you want to build. The, the, the game servers don't know what you're doing, and they don't care. So they don't get in the way. You can build whatever you wish. And when you don't like what you built in No Man's Sky, you can, you can get rid of it. And it will very handily give you a lot of resources back from the base in No Man's Sky that you wanted to get rid of. But here in Dual Universe, that's not true. If you have a mega factory you don't like anymore, you want to get rid of because it's useless, you either have to tear it down manually, and then who knows what you're going to do with all the excess stuff that were in part of the assembly line. I guess you're going to have to store it somewhere. What are you going to do with it? You can't. So then you're stuck. Fuck you. I mean, how dare you have built something we don't want to support anymore as game developers? Well, fuck you. We don't care. And they do that a lot. Because this game is in beta. They don't even know what they want the game to be. They don't have any fucking idea. And they're willing to use people, real people, to figure that out. And that's part of the problem with being in a, a beta game. Keep in mind, I'm a subscriber to the game. I subscribe to the game, we give money. Because once upon a time, it was fun. And now, I have no idea what it is. So I'm here, hoarding resources, doing the one thing they're perfectly happy letting me do. They're perfectly happy letting you mine resources. You can do that. They're not going to get in your way. That's what runs the economy for the big the players with all the money. And the players with all the money don't want you getting money in the game. 
And when I talk about money in this game, it's in the context of in-game money called Qantas, just in case there are some deadly do rights out there with their brains turned off. See, the game doesn't put up roadblocks if you want to mine resources. Yeah, it's going to be expensive to get top-of-the-line mining gear. Uh, I was selling it top-of-the-line for a reasonable price because I was able to drive the price down because I was able to overproduce. Other than that, top-of-the-line mining gear was expensive. I was actually trying to help people in this game get a start in the beginning so they could play the game because it was difficult. And you see what the game developers have done. They've said, no, we don't want anybody doing that. You're upsetting the apple cart and pissing people off. So now we're going to put up a huge roadblock and you're not even going to get to build. I mean, you can build a mega factory, but the time required to keep it running would be grossly prohibitive and very expensive and you need startup capital and all of the big organizations that were in the game originally they all have many billions because it was easier to make money back then in the game and again when I talk about money I'm talking about in-game money it was easier for the big players in the game to make all their money and now they don't want to lose it so they don't want new players coming into the game, causing them grief. So when you enter this game, you need to know your place. You get to mine resources and sell it on the market. And that's all you get to do. Now, how you get, to, how you get it to the market? Who knows? Dude, if you're on Haven or one of the startup planets or Sanctuary, you're going to have to go to Alioth if you want to do anything. How are you going to do that in the beginning? You're not. How are you going to get a ship? Who knows? I mean, you can travel between Sanctuary and Alioth and Haven and Alioth. You can, there are travel hubs. You can get back and forth without a ship. They take care of that. But if you want to transport your ore in something other than your nanopack, you're going to need a ship. And ships in this game are very expensive. If you were to save up your 150k per week or per day, 150k per day that they give you as a stipend for subscribing to the game, save it up for a year. You might be able to buy a ship you could use to haul a little bit of ore to market, maybe. Because it's expensive. And the prices for every ship part that you're going to want, like engines, you need a bunch of those. And wings, you're going to need a bunch of those. And then you're going to have to learn how to wing stack and engine stack, or you're not going to be able to haul much of anything. Not an easy game to begin playing. Oh, they'll give you uh, a house with a landing pad on Haven. They'll give you that for free. They'll give you a vehicle you can fly around on Haven for free. But they're not going to give you an interplanetary ship with a warp drive. And you're going to need that if you want to sell in the big market on Alia. Because there are no smaller markets. There's no market on, on Haven for selling your ore. You can sell it there, but it's going to stay on the market. And if you have enough, you could hope maybe one of the big industrialists in the game is maybe going to come swoop over to Haven and buy it, but I doubt it. So you're stuck.
You're stuck doing the one thing you're watching me do. Keep my mining equipment running. You're going to have to check in every day. You're going to have to calibrate once a week. And keep in mind, this is the fun part of the game. So, game developers, if you're listening, I doubt you are. Just get rid of the large cores, get rid of the medium cores, get rid of the small cores. The only thing you're ever going to be able to build is a super small factory. And we're going to take a look at one of those shortly. A super small factory. You're going to you need assembly lines. We're going to take a look at what it takes to run it for a day. Now, getting all the equipment, well, good luck with that. I mean, their latest game change probably pissed off a number of people who just stopped playing. I'm one of them. I stopped playing for about a month. I'm back now because what the fuck? I'm going to hoard up resources and do the one thing I can do and share with everybody else what that's all about. But let's go take a look at a fuel factory that shut down. I, I had blueprints running. It was passively making fuel, not hurting anybody. Nitron is what you need in your ship. It's atmospheric fuel. And there, there are four different types of space fuel. Why there are four? Because there are four different types of tier two uh, resources. You can feed it. That's why there are four. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why not just come up with one type of space fuel that can take any of the four, if there are four things you could feed it, and one blueprint to make it. It's called one thing. Uh, no, that's too much fun. We had to make four of them because we're not super smart about how we design games. Because, you know, we want your money, but fuck you. So... I would need a nitron print, which I can get, but I can't plug in because when you're in when you're in surrogate mode, you can't interact with anything, which means the character that owns this would have to come to Alioth to this particular place, land a ship, get out, and put stuff in here every single day. This used to make fuel passively. Now I can understand you wanting to slow down people from having mega factories, but you can easily get rid of that just by removing all the large cores in the game or just limit how many factory elements can be put on any of your cores. That's all you got to do. You don't have to fuck with blueprints if you're game developers. All you have to do, you're going to piss people off anyway. It's not like this is the least the least uh, invasive way we could think of that would piss off the fewest people. No, you're still going to piss people off either way. You don't want people doing mega factories. Easy to identify them, just delete them from the game. I mean, if that were to disappear tomorrow, the character that owns it, one of my alts, wouldn't care. It's useless. And can I can I press a button and get rid of it? No. That's No Man's Sky, not Dual Universe. In Dual Universe, you can't do that. You can't just go to the core and say, make it all disappear. Now, No Man's Sky, you can go to the equivalent of a core, which is a base computer, and you can tell the base to disappear. And then they'll... Get rid of it. It doesn't exist anymore if you don't want it. And they'll give you salvage. Can't do that in this game because you as a player, well, fuck you. We want your money, but fuck you.
I mean, give us your money, but hey, fuck off, buddy. We're not here to make your lives easy. We're here to, you know, fuck with you as game developers because we have no idea what this game is going to be. And they still don't. And it's six years and they still have no fucking idea what they want this game to be. At all. I mean, sure, in the beginning they wanted people to have mega factories. The only factories is in the game. So, yeah, in the beginning we wanted people to do it. But, but then those people got wealthy. and you can build factories, but running them now? Pain in the ass. Now I could run the fuel factory. It would take several days of, of 150K per day to get the prints it needs to run. And it's going to take, you know, eight hours to get all those prints, assuming I had all the money up front, which I do because I've played the game before, but you won't if you're in the game new. So you're not going to have a fuel factory. Not for a long fucking time. You're also not going to have a ship so you can take your stuff to market for a long fucking time. have to fuck around with the two factor and you know so you're not going to do it so fuck off hey nobody piled on to hate me oh, that's awesome I mean, this is an audience I can deal with. There's nobody here. But I'm making this for uh, YouTube, and so I'll put it up there. Because, hey, why not? And we're going to take a look at if my prints are ready for my fuel factory. I spent two days worth of money to gain the prints I would need. I'm just making sure all of these are still running. And there we 
to come to my fuel factory. And let's see if I can collect my prints. Atmospheric fuel copy, yeah, I can do that. Rocket fuels, yeah, I can do that. Space fuels, sure. 150k each. Now, for 3,000, I was able to get that nitron. What does a nitron cost on the market? Um, you're not going to be able to buy it for love and money. And if you wanted to, you'd have to go to Haven. And maybe get 821, uh, 164 units at 821 each. Arguably more expensive than doing it yourself. If you could do it yourself. If you wanted to do it yourself, you have to get the exact same equipment I've got here. You have to know how to hook it up. And if you're a new player, you're not going to know any of that. But this is a... Uh, Well, first you have to get the skills, and then you have to get a basic chemical industry. And what does that cost? Uh, basic chemical industry is not available. So if you're a new player and you want fuel, you're at the mercy of people who sell it if they do, and right now nobody does. So, you're fucked. Now, can I just drop another one in? Well, what do you know? I can. That's awesome. Who knows what it did to it, but hey, whatever. Now, keep in mind, when you die in this game, and believe me, you will, anything that happens to me in your nanopack goes poof. Which means you want to put your prints somewhere. Preferably not in your nanopack. Because you might lose that shit. So let's go take a look at a small factory that was producing some assemblers. Yeah, can I go up, please? I would consider this to be a relatively small factory. Now, what do I need to keep these running? Um, they tell me I don't need prints to run the T1 Pures. What do I need for these? No schematics. So I need an ALFE. And I have no idea what I need to run this for a single day. So I need ALFE.
And a single run is 9,000 Qantas. I think that's a little pricey. Ten runs is going to take five hours, and that would be 90,000 Qantas. So if you're just getting started, if you can find on the market what you need to build a very small, modest, super tiny factory, and good luck with that, if you can do any of that, getting started is going to be painful. So I'm going to keep track of what I'm spending because, you know, I'm curious. And they change the game. And get used to building spreadsheets because you're going to do that whether you want to or not. So I'm going to keep track of what it costs to run a factory, super tiny factory, on Haven. Now, I already know what it costs to, to make fuel. I spent two days worth of 150k per day in the game using in-game money. And keep in mind, whenever I talk about money, I'm talking about in-game money in the game. So for fuel, it was an Atmo print, which is about 3K per run. And then there was space fuel, which I'd have to look again at what that was. Oh, schematics. Oh, is this where people are selling items? No. Why do we have? Why do we have a print for Nitron? Whatever, dude. So Atmo fuel was 3,000 each. Space fuel was 7,500 each per run. And each run is going to be 300 liters. which I think is overtly priced. And then let's talk about uh, factory. I mean, it's obscenely priced relative to the stipend you get. And it's not, none of this is gonna bother the super wealthy in the game. I'm probably one of those because I have four billion. What do I care? What's it called? Alloy? I don't even know what the fucking thing is called. Fuels. Bonsai, what kind of prints? What do I fucking need for this machine to make it run? 
It's a product. I don't even fucking know, man. Tier 1 product material schematic, I guess, is what I need. So then the run's gonna cost 9,000. And that would take 30 minutes. For a single run, nine nine grand. And then I need lemon. And again, another thirty minutes and nine grand. And then I need steel. And keep a run, man. This is a, this is a single run. It'll make fifty things for nine grand. Fifty units of steel, which you're not going to be able to do much with for nine grand. Pretty sure these are 50 units each. And then this guy happens to be polycarbonate. And 50 units of polycarbonate, which ain't shit, it's going to cost nine grand. All right, so that's... That's just that stuff. Now, we get down to part of the assembly line. And so you want to slow things down, man, but why are you making it painful? That's what I don't get. Slow down the assemblers. Why I can't just make everything else as, as needed is beyond me. So basic screws. This... This doesn't seem to need a print. What the fuck? I guess I'll find that out, man. I don't know. It's not complaining. This one is also not complaining, so I don't know if I need a print for it. Who the fuck knows? This is crying about inputs. It's not crying about schematics. So let's assume maybe they did something semi-intelligent. Who knows? And let's go to these assemblers. Pretty sure assemblers are going to need prints. Why smelters need them? I don't know. 
This is crying about schematics. So basic assembly line XS. What the fuck is going on with the basic assembly line XS? Is that this? I have no idea. But I'm going to have to spend money to figure it out. In-game money. Who the fuck knows? Because they're not telling me. And at this point, um, you can come back in 30 minutes and the rest of the time. Who gives a fuck what you do? You can wonder what the rest, you know, how you can run the rest of your factory. Come back in 30 minutes. So now we can take a look at how much fuel do I need and what might all of that cost. Now, obviously, in the current state of the game, a big honking ship is not needed. Number one, you're not going to have that much to haul because it's a pain in the ass to build in a factory. You're not going to have a lot to haul. You're just not. This used to haul quite a lot because I had a lot to haul. And I put it all over on Haven because I was trying to help the new players. 300 million Qantas worth of stuff that I have on the market on Haven. Now, you do need a ship like this if you want to haul ore between planets. You will need that. If you want to haul ore between planets, you're going to need a big honking ship. There's no getting around it. But in the current state of the game, if you can find the ore, who knows? Is anybody still selling it? No. Used to be people selling coal. There's no one selling it now. What about uh, hematite? Nobody really selling hematite. Wow, what the fuck happened? They changed the game, and I think a lot of people left. Um... So we have coal, we have hematite, what are, what are the fuck do we have? Uh, quartz? Hey, we have a new follower. Ask, uh, uh, Atris Cage? Atris Cage? I don't know, man. Cool name. So what happened, uh, what happened to quartz? What happened to bauxite? You, you can't get bauxite, or you can't get quartz, you can't get coal. I was buying this shit up like there was no tomorrow. Someone wants it, but very few people are selling it. There was an actual market for this stuff the last time I was in the game. Hey, Star Wars, thanks for following me, man. Or lady, I don't know, I can't tell. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get any of this ore. You're going to have to mine it. And I'm assuming, what, did they just get rid of everything? You can't get malachite? Super awesome, man. What about all the stuff I had sitting out in these various markets? I still have sale, or, sale orders. Um... Wow, I think I think they just fucking destroyed the game without my help. Uh, 
This guy was just selling stuff. He wouldn't have anything else. And then get rid of the stuff that was in storage, I hope. But you can't, uh, you can't buy any, any ore. So if you want to have a mark, you want to have a factory, you're going to have to find, you're going to have to mine the ore yourself. You're stuck. So maybe a big ship like this is just a dinosaur because it takes a lot of fuel to run this. It takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine times 12,800. Uh, that seems like 100,000. Nine times twelve eight hundred. That's one hundred and fifteen thousand liters of nitron, of which I happen to have full tanks. It doesn't take a lot of nitron to fly around. And this character no longer has a reason to. Um, I don't have a reason to get any ore in this character, and I didn't use that ship on this character for that purpose, but there's also nothing to buy, assuming you have the money. So that means hoarding resources is what you gotta do. So if you wanted to have a factory because you wanted to be a part of the economy that doesn't actually exist now. Figure out how to get the ore you need. You're on your own. Like, I think they just destroyed the game. I happen to have a stockpile of stuff I can sell. I would assume in another three months, um, after all the after all the current sell orders have fallen off the market, and nobody's producing anything, then yeah, I could probably sell a toothbrush if there was one in the game for a billion Qantas. And then who cares if I ever sell it? So that's lovely. So meanwhile, we're waiting for paint to dry. So I can pretend to run a factory. I wouldn't be able to buy any ore to run. So I guess if you're new in the game today, you're just fucked. You can probably name your price for the ore you want to sell, and since there is no, there are probably no other people selling ore, who knows, you might get wealthy again. Used to be in the game and long before I got started, that you could actually get wealthy just selling Nitron. Because nobody was making it, and everybody needed it. And I guess the game developers want those days to return. By pissing everybody off, they all leave the game, and then they start over with a new batch of people. It'd be nice if the game developers could give me a magic button I could press in my mega factory so I could get rid of it. And then it'd be nice if they could just salvage all of the materials that went into it. Turn it all back into either raw ore or T1, T2, and T3 pures.
I don't believe they're ever going to do that because that would require them to actually give a shit about their player population, and they have a history of not doing that. I heard a guy on another stream say that game developers basically look at their at their player population as just being bags of meat with money. So I think from their perspective, you're just a bag of meat with money. Well, let's see if I can turn that shit up. Let's just ban stream elements. Obviously, unlinking it doesn't do anything. And as long as you have, as long as you pay for a subscription, the game developers are perfectly happy to do whatever the fuck they want. Because they've got your money. And this is a prime example. Assuming you were playing the game before this change happened, and I was, the day after you update the game, you're just totally fucked. And I am totally fucked. I'm just trying to assess the degree to which I am fucked. Now, I can't use any of my money to buy ore because nobody's selling it. And nobody's selling it because there's nobody in the economy. I'm just here getting entertainment any way I can. Now, I'm still paying for my subscriptions because the game might turn into something someday, but in the meantime, who fucking knows? All right, so in theory, I've got an excess print, and I'm going to see if I can plug it in because I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Well, it took it. Now I guess I'm going to configure it for something. What am I going to configure it for? What the fuck was this making before? This was pretending to make basic assembly line excesses, right? Basic assembly, do I have to, do I have to do something with this? I, I don't fucking know. I mean, what am I doing with this? can't apply it because, I mean, this was running before, so I guess it's just going to run now. I don't know. But I can, I guess I can make 10 of them. All right, so what was the cost of doing that bullshit if I wanted to run 10? 37.50 for 10.
Now, is anybody selling that stuff? I was. Basic assembly line excess. Uh, fuck. There it is. Um, Ophelia's selling them. I guess I'm not anymore. What the hell? I thought I had orders. Nope. I guess people bought them all. Oh, that's lovely. Still waiting for paint to dry. All right, so I guess uh, assembly line S's. What do I need for that? So uh, tier one S, I'm assuming, in 25 minutes. 7,500 for five runs. Okay, now that I've figured out one of them, maybe all of them will work the same. Who the fuck knows? When you say it like that, I feel like unsubbing to do you. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, what the fuck, man? Look, if you want to get started in the game fresh, I'd say, you know, is this fun? I don't know, man. You want to compare and contrast with other games? Everything I'm trying to do in No Man's Sky, and you can do the same things in No Man's Sky. You can build factories in No Man's Sky. Um, you don't build factory lines. Um, mainly, if you're building a base, you want to you want to build stuff in the base, and you want to collect resources. It would be a a mining base. You can do that in No Man's Sky, and you don't have to buy prints for any of the equipment. You just need materials. Um, it's a whole lot less of a hassle. But there's no there's no player economy in No Man's Sky. It doesn't exist. There's an NPC economy, but you can get you can pretend to be a super super wealthy galaxy hopping, you know, person in No Man's Sky super easy. Can you do that here? <laughs> no. So yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, I'm not here to promote the game. I don't give a fuck about the game that doesn't give a fuck about me. I'm just trying to assess what it would take to do what I was trying to do before, which is a pain in the ass. So, yeah, I mean, unsub. They, they, you know, they obviously don't know what they want the game to be. It's like, it's like Star Citizen, man. What's the current state of Star Citizen? Well, I got the latest update, started playing it. Thought maybe I would try to earn some money in the game because they just said, fuck you, we're taking, taking all your 700 million, uh, you know, you, you know, whatever the money is in that fucking game, add 700 million and all the ships. And they said, fuck you, we're taking all your ships. You can keep the ones you pledged to. All your money's gone. Try to make some money. Ran some materials from one base to another, one station to another, made, you know, made a little bit of money. But then I, when I went to sleep at uh, Lauraville, that was my last stop, I woke up at the stop before. So I woke up not where my ship was. Which, in order to make that game work before, you would simply uh, request landing permission at a station like Lauraville. And whether you land or not didn't matter. You could log off and you would still be landed. And that's where you'd wake up. Now, if you died, 
it would it would send you to wherever your print was. But I made my print be at Lauraville, and when I woke up, I was at, uh, you know, Port Olisar, where, you know. So now I have to waste time in that game trying to take one of my other ships, claim it at where I happened to wake up, which is not where I wanted to be, and then fly it to where my my hauler was, which is a, a miscall A, smallest hauler you can actually get that might mean something. So I have to waste time doing that every time I log in, and I'm not doing that. Because if I'm gonna play for a couple of hours, a third of that time is gonna be spent just trying to get to the point where I could hop in the, in the ship I wanted to be in. And I'm not gonna do that. Now, if I were playing 16 hours a day, yeah, it probably wouldn't matter. And the fanboys who love the game, it probably doesn't matter to them. If you're gonna be a casual player, work it out. Do the game developers care about you? Clearly they don't in Dual Universe. Clearly they don't in Star Citizen. Now, Hello Games seems to, they've at least given us a game that we can play and we can manipulate and you can, you can duplicate things, there are all kinds of glitches. If a game developer leaves something in the game, I call it a feature. I don't give a fuck if it's an exploit. I don't give a fuck what it is. If it's in the game, I'm gonna use it. If you don't want it to be in the game, since I'm a software developer by profession, then if you don't want something to be in the fucking game, then make sure it's not in the fucking game. In other words, I don't think it's my job to make sure that game developers can be lazy about how they develop their game. It's not my job to compensate for their lack of whatever. If they have a lack of whatever and they can't figure out how to do something in the game, I don't give a fuck. If I'm paying to play the game, I'm gonna play it. And at least No, Man, uh, no Man's Sky is an offline game. So what do we need for this? I need basic assembly line M's. Tier one M is the assumption. Again, I have no fucking idea. That's three runs for 15K. Awesome. And I'm gonna have to be in a meeting in the real world before long, so. Um, Just to let you know, this game is, or this stream is going to be on pause for a while, in about an hour. Draw back to my spreadsheet. It's T1M, 15K for three runs. I don't think I pressed the button, so what the hell? I don't have a slot available. Oh, that's that's special. Yeah, that'll slow things down. Back when I first got into Dual Universe, it was fun, man. It was rip-roaring. You could do whatever you wanted. You could build whatever ships. You could build mega factories. You could ruin the economy, and I did. That was fun. You could build ships and piss everybody off who was building ships. I no longer needed to buy any ships from them. That was fun. And I, I don't know what it is now.
maybe I could put some of the ore that I'm mining on the market and try to get super wealthy by charging exorbitant prices. But yeah, if you want a fun game, I would say go and play No Man's Sky. This is a great time to do it. It's on sale. They just had a major release. They give you a freighter for free if you do the current expedition. And I'm doing that expedition on, uh, on I'm doing it on Xbox. Just uh, almost finished there. I'm doing it on uh, PS5. And I'm able to help myself through part of the expedition because I've already done it on the PC where I can manipulate the game save file and do whatever I want. Because again, it's an offline game. Oh, and I can start it for 50 minutes. All right, let's keep going. I'm sure it's going to get ridiculous. Uh, what would this be? T1 L's. 30K for uh, for two runs. Wow, that's generous. Which means the minimum price you're going to charge for for a for a tier one excess assembler. The minimum, absolute minimum price is going to be whatever it takes to build it, assuming you knew what that was. And if you go any lower than that, then you're not going to be able to self-sustain, which you're not going to do anyway because there's no real economy. But that takes 100 minutes. Do I have any XLs? I don't know if I have any XLs here. I don't think I do. I was not so fortunate. All right, so... Um, this guy has a print. This guy does not have a print, and he is basic assembly line S. Tier one production. That's, that's not what that is, is it? Is that? Does that go here? Seems to. No, that does not go there. Uh, all right, so. Oh, what the fuck? All right, I have no, what did I just do? Tier 1 S. Oh, that's still being copied. All right, well, whatever. I guess I just wasted some Qantas. Now, I don't know who's playing the game. There were some people hating me yesterday because I was talking about it. They didn't want me to be part of their you know, their community on my stream. It's not their community when it's on my stream. It's my community on my stream. And yesterday I was not happy about what I saw in this game. And I said so. But they wanted to hate me for it. So I had to ban them. Uh, 
I think at this point, if you want to play Dual Universe, you have to really love it. But if the, if the game developers want to come up with a new user player, new player experience, they'd have to give you a house with a, with a landing pad and some storage, a vehicle so you can get around the planet, and a ship with a warp drive. If they gave you all of that, maybe you could make a go of it. Maybe. As it is now, if you can't buy ships on the market, and the last time I looked you couldn't, you're stuck on whatever rock they place you on. Now you can move around between Alioth and, and the other moons. You're stuck in terms of being able to do anything real with any amount of material. Although if you want to haul, you know, 20 kilotons in your backpack, you can do that. Been there, done that. All right, so what's holding up this other one from running? Why shouldn't, why isn't this one running? Uh, basic power systems. We don't have any basic power systems. I thought these were just gonna run. Well, this is run. Basic electronics. Where are my basic power systems? Basic containers. Why isn't this running? Doesn't have any LFE. Oh, was that, uh, I thought I ran prints for these. So what do I have? Tier one product. I have 200 runs. Uh, uh, can I split this up? Oh, okay. Um, it just lumped them all together. That's fucking awesome. So in theory, this, you should be running, man. What's only up? Oh, I do have 10,000. Oh, I've got enough steel. Oh, all right. Oh, and then there was this guy. That must be the same thing. All right, so at least those are able to run. Of course, we're refining automatically because those are the need prints and maybe everything will start up in a day or two I don't know I have no idea what I'm doing 
but that's the fun part. So, can anybody actually do this? Well, let's see. Do we have any refiners? Uh, do we have any basic refiner M's? Uh, nobody's selling them. And then we need smelters. Um, nobody's making smelters. Obviously, there's a market for some of that. It's too early to actually do anything with that, but nobody's making chemical things. I've already seen that. Um, what about, uh, Metalworks? Man, eh, nobody's making those. Okay. Why wouldn't Ophelia sell some of that for you? That's the, that's the question. Because there's supposed to be a player economy. Oh, all right. Well, it doesn't exist, so. Um, you're not going to get to do any of this if you jump in the game right now. I get to do it because my mega factory was making factories. First thing I did in my mega factory was produce all of the things I would need to make a mega factory. Now we should go take a look at that briefly. Since I'm waiting for paint to dry here. I just want to park this guy in a place where, you know, he'll wake up. my best position would be to have a bunch of stuff that I can't produce that I have to have in stock. And that's my mega factory. But I have to go check my mining equipment to make sure it's still running. And I do that over here. He's not connected to anything. He was. It's running. Wow, they have quality issues. And where did my hub go, man? <laughs> It was there a moment ago. Oh, there it is. And they have they have quality issues. Wait, it's hooked up to something. What the fuck? Oh, now it's hooked up to something. All right. Well, that's the problem with doing all this online. I'm sure they have some nice, big, beefy servers. I'm sure it's costing them money. But there's a real benefit to not doing any of that. For the player. So, Mega Factory, what are we doing? We 
we can take a look at a burned out husk of a mega factory that I never have time to make this thing work. There's just too much going on. Too fucking much going on, man. Look at all those machines. Now, I would need smelter prints, but not refiner prints. I would need assembler prints, but I've got a buttload of assemblers in this thing. With a crap ton of ore. Hey, we got a new follower. Tobit TJ. Tobit. Toby TJ. There you go. I butchered your name for you. And I was making factories. All this stuff you can't buy in the market right now. I happen to be sitting on top of some of it. Yeah, I think in about 30, 60, maybe 90 days. Give the game long enough for everybody who was doing something to get pissed off. And then maybe we can start over and I can be Super Mr. Wealthy. With a space elevator. This thing will go straight up into space and then come back down. Isn't that cool? I was also producing fuel factories. Um, you want, you want to let me out? No, you don't want to. Fine. No. Yeah, let me in. And what about my fuel factory? Well, I do have 1,100 kiloliters of uh, nitron and 400 kiloliters of each of space fuel. And a whole lot of mega factory, man. I went nuts on this thing. I went fucking nuts. But I would still have to go through it and track down all of my smelters. I'm sure the T2 and T3 refiners are going to need prints. I don't know, man. I 
Well, it did burn through a lot of ore before it shut down. And it looks like it's been running. Sputtering on fumes, so to speak. And I also have a container factory where I was making containers. But you haven't seen anything yet because I've got a warp cell factory. This fucking thing was making me uh, last time I checked, it was turning out thirty one warp cells per hour, which is not bad. I went nuts on this one. I optimized the piss out of it thirty one thirty one per hour is what I was getting out of this thing. I think it might be worth running this one. Are there any warp cells on the market? There are none. Wow. It might be worth running this. We happen to have 2,000 sitting around, but it might, might just be worth running. Now, what about all of my ore that I had sitting around on Elia I hadn't picked up yet. Uh, let's see, it seems to still be there. A buttload of ore. Yeah, it might, might just be worth running this one. See, what would I need for prints? Um, this one shouldn't need one, it doesn't. So T1 won't need them. What about T2? Um, this one also it doesn't need, really? Uh, all right. So, what are we saying? We need we need prints for these. Uh, yeah, this one needs schematics. So what kind of a schematic would be for warp cell? We can wonder. It'd be nice if they would tell me what this schematic makes. They <laughs> won't do that. Fifty K for ten runs. Oh, that is super fucking awesome, man. Come back in two hours and forty seven minutes. You fucking low life player. <laughs> okay. Fifty K for ten runs. Warp cell factory. How am I doing on meetings in the real world? Oh, coming up shortly. Wow, 
eight people on the stream where nobody hates me. I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, you'll have to select all in the drop down menu at the top right of the market menu. Oh, and they change that too. It does say all. Why don't they just default to all fuckers? Wow, there are people selling things. Warp cells were down to a ridiculously low price before the apocalypse. And now they're up to a nice beefy price. Good to know. Well, that's a positive change. It has raised the price of warp souls. Uh, Nova, Nova Quark doesn't give a shit about you, the player. They don't give a shit about me as a player. As long as they, as long as they get our money in in the form of our subscriptions, they don't give a flying fuck. Now, if you want to, you want a game company that cares about the player, a game company that's not trying to just use you for money, that would be Hello Games, where they have had 20 updates, major updates to their game in six years. And they're not asking for dimes one on any of those updates. They're all free updates. Every single one of them. Every single one. And they're constantly putting things in that game that players want. As opposed to, fuck you player, we don't care about you. They actually seem to care about the player. And they give us all kinds of ways to exploit the game. That they can't track. I think that's great. Fifteen K is too cheap with all the schematics. Well, I'm I'm glad I'm happy you have money. I'm happy you have time. If you love the game, none of this is gonna be a problem. I like the game it was before, where I could trash the economy. With no additional effort. Why can't I check all the markets on Haven? I mean, what the fuck? Why do people buy all the warp stalls I was selling for super cheap on Haven? I guess I became a wholesaler that day. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, No Man's Sky in the beginning was rather uh, hated. And maybe that's why they've done 20 updates in a row without asking for any more money. And maybe why every time they do a major update, they put all of their games on sale. Could be. You never can tell. Could be why there's so many glitches in the game. They do try to patch them once in a while. And every time they do, they piss people off. But every time they patch them, they, they always come back. And that's the super cool part.
Well, I'm not going to wait for two hours and some odd minutes for that bit of paint to dry. So obviously my optimism in the game was misplaced. Basic container XL on all markets. Wow, those went up in price pretty fast. Yeah, ore prices are pretty much the same. That's super awesome. I was happier when there was no ore to buy. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for now. I have a meeting in 15 minutes in the real world, so I appreciate everybody coming out. I haven't seen this many people on my stream in this game ever until yesterday and today. I appreciate everybody not hating me. Thanks for supporting the channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll catch you all next time. Whenever I come back to complain about...